I've had this question pop up quite often lately, so I just wanted to uh, make a video and answer it. A lot of people have been asking me, what is reverse sneezing in dogs? What is it? How do you treat it? Is it bad for your dog? Lots of questions around reverse sneezing. So first of all, what is reverse sneezing? It's actually a really common respiratory condition seen in dogs. It is mainly caused by uh, irritation or inflammation of the nasal, pharyngeal, or sinus passages. The soft palate is the muscular area on the top of the back of the roof of the mouth. Uh, humans have one too, so you can, you can definitely feel yours and tell where it's at. Um, and your dog has the same thing. That is the area that helps with vocalization, swallowing, and breathing. So that brings me to, you know, reverse sneezing. When that palate is irritated, that's when you get this kind of bizarre sound coming from your dog. Um, and a lot of people are wondering what it is. Uh, they think it's dangerous because it is kind of scary when your dog's doing it and you're not 100% sure what it is. Typically, it's nothing at all to be worried about. So don't get alarmed when your dog is re reverse sneezing. Um, it can, like I said, just be alarming um, because they seem like they're maybe in pain or uh, uncomfortable, but it, it should pass quickly and it's not typically anything to worry about. When your dog is having a fit of reverse sneezing, he will try to extend his neck and expand his chest in order to breathe. The narrowing of the trachea is inhibiting his breathing, which may cause your dog to have a little bit of anxiety too um, and get nervous, which in turn makes the condition worse. We'll get to that in just a moment. So. The dog will try to forcefully inhale through the nose, which causes him to basically sneeze backwards or reverse sneezing. Um, reverse sneezing sounds like inhaling sneezes or uh, very similar to a goose honking. It's kind of this loud snorting sound, very similar to the honking of a goose. Um, it could last 30 seconds or less typically. Sometimes it could take up to a minute or two for uh, this case of reverse sneezing to pass. Although longer durations do occur, um, it, it's not very typical, and it's not typical for your dog to have more than one bout of reverse sneezing in a 24 hour period. If your dog is having this problem for five minutes or more, if you're noticing it happening multiple times over a 24 hour period, um, it, it really is best to call your veterinarian, just report what's going on, let them know. Um, you know, it, it might not be something similar, it might not be something serious, but it's probably something that you're about at least wants a heads up about. They're gonna probably ask you to monitor it. If you can, try to write things down um, when the fits start, how long they last, um, and you know the time of them so you can tell how far apart they are. Things like that are really helpful for your vet. Um, really great information for them to have. You know, when you bring your dog into the office and you say, he's been reverse sneezing, you know, he does it a few times a day. If you can tell exactly, you know, how many times a day and for how long these fits happen, that can be really beneficial. In rare cases, it could be a sign of an upper respiratory infection, asthma, a collapsing trachea, uh, heart disease. So there are some serious conditions that, uh, you know, this could be a symptom of. It is not very common and again, not something to worry about, but just keep an eye on it. If your dog's only doing it once in a great while, nothing to worry about. If it starts happening more frequently or for longer durations, definitely just let your vet know and see what they recommend. There is no treatment or medication for reverse sneezing in dogs because the spasm is over once the sneezing stops. There are ways that you can help your dog to stop the spasm. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of times, you know, it might be, it might make you nervous. It's also kind of scary for your dog. So one of the best things to do is to sit with your dog, to talk to him in a soothing voice, to just pat his back, you know, rub down his back and, you know, just talk to him calmly, trying to settle him down because a lot of times that is enough to stop the spasm. You could also pick your dog up and change his position. So if your dog's head's up, you're gonna wanna tip it down. If his head's down, you're gonna wanna pick it up. And that will help to shift that soft palate and hopefully stop the reverse sneezing. You can also help try to get your dog to swallow because that can sometimes remove the irritation. So to do that, you just wanna rub his neck downward, start up under his chin and just rub down the throat. Um, and that will cause a 
natural swallowing motion for your dog and uh, may help to clear any irritation that's on that soft palate. Um, distracting him with a treat or a toy might work. Um, like I said, you know, your dog may get a little anxious, get a little panicky. So if you can distract him with something that might help to just, um, you know, calm his body enough to let that spasm just relax and stop. Um, also, if you know, you're really concerned pressing down on your dog's tongue to make him take a mouthful of breath, um, that can help open up the back of his throat and his nasal passages as well. So if you just stick your fingers in and kind of press down on his tongue, like a tongue depressor at the doctor's, like those wooden, wooden tongue depressors, um, that can help just to get the air in there and kind of clear that blockage. If the attacks become more severe, like I said, you're gonna wanna talk to your vet. They may wanna perform um, a chest X-ray or a rhinoscopy to look for abnormalities and then they would suggest treatments based on their findings. Um, typically, that is not the case. That is only the case in very, very, very few cases. So um, just, you know, don't panic monitor your dog and like i said if you can take notes if, especially if you're it's something that you're worried about and you're noticing it happening more often